Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new Kind Review with Seth and Amy. And we are here at Jack Frost in Middletown, which is this adorable little ice cream shop right on the main drag here. And we have heard through the grapevine that they have some brand new, exciting, delicious, completely animal product free ice cream treats for you. And they're gonna knock your socks off. So Amy and I are gonna go in, uh, talk to the owner and see what's going on. So let's check it out. vegan offerings that you have on your menu. So we have a uh, vegan dairy-free oat milk based soft serve. So it's a vanilla <laughs> soft serve. Okay. Um, and then we change out our other options. So right now it's a mango sorbet. So both the mango and the vanilla are both dairy-free and vegan. And then we've actually come up with some dairy-free and vegan menu items. Wow. <laughs> so we can do our Oreo frost swirl just with our oat milk vanilla and then it's the Oreos all swirled together. So it's very similar to a blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh. So it's all with the like Oreo mixed in it. Very good. Wow. And then we have some different Sunday options. And then we can do a lot of different milkshake options. And then we do have a vegan whipped cream. So we can still put the whipped cream. Yay. And what was the reason that you decided to add the vegan offerings? Well, um, my husband felt bad for me because I went dairy free about a year ago. And I then really couldn't have any ice cream. Yeah. Um, he loves ice cream, right? Um, and so he did a lot of research and like ways that he could find a vanilla dairy free option. Mm -hmm. And we came up with this oat milk based dairy free vegan vanilla. Now, I just wanted to say Jack Frost contacted us at the beginning of the summer and asked <laughs> that we do a kind review here, but we have had a hard time getting our schedules together, Seth and I. So we are finally here on what is it, September 2nd? Yeah. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure there's plenty of summer left for you guys to get here. In fact, sure. I heard it's supposed to be in the 90s next mm -hmm. week. Or, yeah, next week. <laughs> like, how late in the season do you stay open? We are planning to stay open until the uh, middle of November this year. Oh, oh damn. Uh, plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so we'll uh, probably close for a couple months and probably reopen middle of February. Oh, wow. Um, is what we're hoping for. We're going to do some renovations, take some rest, um, and then reopen. All right, all right. So I have got here a peanut butter shake, first of all, which is really exciting. You don't find a lot of vegan shakes around. And it's got the, is it coconut? Co yeah, coconut-based. Coconut uh, based whipped cream, mm -hmm. so that's amazing. And here we have a mango vanilla soft serve twist. Mm, that looks good. Uh, yeah, it looks amazing. Look at that. Boom, boom, uh. boom, boom. <laughs> soft serve twist, right? So I'm about to dig into this. So first I'm going to hit the shake. Okay. You know what I mean? I do. And uh, so let's see here. It's nice and thick. It takes a while to get up there. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Is it? It is unbelievable. Is it like really thick and creamy? It is. It's, it's, it's that old experience of a, of a thick and creamy milkshake. Yeah. Nice. All right. I'll try this and then we'll see what Amy thinks of hers. So like the, the vanilla is like creamy and then the mango looks a little more... Uh, sorbet. Yeah, sorbet. <laughs> That's a quality experience. Is it? High quality experience. Highly <laughs> recommend it. Why don't we see what you think about it, Amy? Okay. All right, Amy, what do you have here? This looks so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So this is a pineapple sundae. It is vanilla, soft serve, plant-based ice cream with coconut-based whipped cream, a cherry, and pineapple toppings. So you're telling me there's no animal products in that whole thing? Um, let me see. No, none. <laughs> All right, let's, let's have a gander. Really good. Yeah? Yes, like 10 times better than the Dairy Queen Dilly Bar that we had. <laughs> well, that's not too hard to do. <laughs> right. Wow. That is something. All right, so I just tasted my pineapple sundae, and I'm cool. I don't have any like ginger to, to cleanse my palate. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna dig into this mango and vanilla twist, trying to get equal parts of both. Very good. Mm -hmm. I, I like the 
next to the mango. Yeah. It's like, it feels really like authentic. I don't know why. It does. It's not like super sweet, like candy. Yes. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a very clean feeling experience. Yes, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Two thumbs up here. Okay guys, so that wraps up our visit to Jack Frost in Middletown on Emmaus Street. Um, it was so good. It was, I have to say, it was, I'm not necessarily a dessert person, but it was way better than I expected it to be. Unbelievable. Really good. Yeah, now I'm going to have a sugar coma. But um, besides that, I just wanted to remind you uh, the reason that we call this the kind review. Um, it's not necessarily because we always, you know, have kind things to say about the products that we try. Um, Dairy Queen. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> Work on that belly bar, Dairy Queen. But we do encourage you to eat these products so that we can all be kinder to animals by not eating them. And this is one great way that you can do it. So just a reminder, this place is open until mid-November. So you have plenty of time to get on out here and try this amazing ice cream.